Allahu Akbar. We have now reached the final stretch of the month of Ramadan, an ending to this season. And we come to the point where we can receive the bounty of the harvest. The cultivating and the nurturing that we've done has firmly rooted our souls, inshallah, and grounded us in the reliance on Allah. And our seedlings have now grown into fully matured plants that are ready to bear the fruits of our spiritual gardening. So what are these fruits and how can we benefit from them? We usually look to harvest tangible results because we're often oriented to seeking the bounties of the dunya. Whether positive or negative, healthy or otherwise, many of us become preoccupied with attributing results only to those things that can be measured or seen. But the dimension of the soul and that spiritual growth that we've been talking so much about is largely the world of the unseen. Therefore, we need to pay attention and look on a more subtle level to what we're looking for in terms of a harvest. And we must be oriented ultimately towards the harvest of the world to come rather than this world of immediate gratification. Allah says, Whoever seeks the harvest of the hereafter, we shall increase for him his harvest. And whoever seeks the harvest of this world, we shall give him thereof, but he will have no share in the hereafter. So take account of what you have reaped from this month of seeding and cultivating and nurturing your spiritual growth. By now, you have trained your nafs to subside its craving for food throughout the day. You've achieved some advanced level of exerting your willpower. And this is a huge achievement that you now have the experience of being able to do for the entire month. Alhamdulillah. You have the experiential knowledge of what it feels like to control your impulses and feel a reward for having greater mastery over yourself. This is the big harvest of this month. You've also read more Qur'an, inshallah, to whatever degree you are able to. It's most likely more than usual, so you have the benefit of the bounty of what that has done for your heart, because the Qur'an is healing. You've probably spent more time with family and friends, even if not in person, or even if not the quantity of people, but the quality of time with the people around you. The experience of eating together, this is something that has great barakah in it. And, and benefits the soul. And it, it has also shown you that you can do it, even with the busyness of life. We often say that we don't have time to sit together and eat, where we would usually not be able to come together. We were able to do it this month. So it's possible because you prioritized it. And so this experience that we've had over this month is a demonstration of what is possible. And inshallah, the time you've spent nurturing your soul, with the nutrients of dhikr and tafakkur during this month have resulted in a heart that is more at rest. And even if just a glimpse or a taste of this sakina within during trying to come into a state of presence and remembrance, all of these things are the harvest of this month and the true bounty and blessing of the month of Ramadan. And even as we've been talking about these metaphors of agriculture and harvesting and coming back to our fitra of connecting with nature, it's also something to be aware of that these aren't just metaphors. It is really important that we are connected to the earth through this cultivation, yes, of our soul, but also of the actual soil. And being more connected with ourselves by being connected with the earth and being connected with our food source this is something that we can really reap the benefits of in this harvest in a tangible way. Actually being able to eat food in a conscious way that orients us towards health and, and feeds our body and feeds our soul. So what is left for this month of Ramadan is left for you to carry on the bounty of this month and to preserve 
some of the harvest to sustain throughout the changing seasons until next Ramadan. This means implementing some of these lessons and experiences and practices, this harvest, into your daily life. Going with the momentum of this growth that you have been able to achieve in this blessed month and continuing some of these exercises in strengthening your will, even if less abundant. When it is harvest season, we feast and we appreciate the abundance, like inshallah we'll be doing for Eid al-Fitr next week. But there's not always abundance. Soon the difficulties of life and the busyness and the routine will come back. And it's up to you to preserve these aspects of this harvest and really embed them in a new approach and a refreshed orientation to the life that you go forward to. Trying to incorporate fasting into your routine, maybe even just starting with the white nights or whatever is easiest. If you don't have time to read an entire juz a day, even just a hizb or an ayah, that you continue with the habit that you've established in some sustainable way in your daily life throughout the year. Carrying the harvest forward, preserving it to last through the rest of the year. It's been an honor to share this month with you once again, and we appreciate your choosing to spend these, these moments with us. May Allah elevate us all and help us to bring forth the true potential in our souls, purifying our hearts, and continue to sustain our spiritual growth. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.